Hello and welcome to the Manchester United squad and club review. This is for Football Manager 16 and what we're going to do, the idea of this is basically go through Manchester United, um, look at the club, look at the finances, transfer budget, salaries and all that sort of stuff and then have a look at the youth system, see if they've got any good youth players and also have a look at their main squad, see if there's any areas that could be strengthened, any good youngsters, any good bad players that you should get rid of. Um, this is just to give you guys an idea so you can, before the game launches next week, you can get ready for it, get an idea. Uh, I think the biggest thing is to get an idea of who you want to manage. So I'm going to do a whole series about probably all the teams in the Premiership and then if, if, if anybody's interested we can go down and start doing the Championship and stuff like that. So we start off with Manchester United, we've already done an Arsenal one. Leave a comment if, if um, and suggest the next one to do. <clears throat> so first things first, we get a personal message as always. As part of their vision, they want you to play attacking football and develop players using the club's youth system. That's fine, that's kind of how Man United play. Not Van Hal, but that's how Man United usually play. Transfer updates, these are the players out on loan. So Yanazai, obviously great talent out on loan, but we'll look at him deeper. Same as Will Keane, Tyler Blackett. You've got sort of three or four good youngsters out on loan. Um, <clears throat> we'll take a look at them a little bit more in depth. Long-term injuries. Phil Jones out for a couple of months. That's pretty good. So we jump into the finances. We've got £172 million in the bank. You start off with a transfer kitty of £60 million, so nice and easy. And you have £3 million wage budget, which is £300,000 more than you're currently spending. So that gives you a nice bit of room to sign a couple of players you know that's before you've even sold players so very nice in that front let's jump in straight jump into the under 18s team we won't, we won't go through every player i don't want to sort of you know go through some dud player that's never going to make it i'm just going to look at the sort of top few youth players to see if they're, they're sort of credible <clears throat> so first we've got roshan williams who's a center back 16 years old Really good physicals for the age, a um, couple of good mentals, struggling with determination and work rate. Obviously those two stats really help a player develop, so if they're not that high they might struggle to develop fully. I think, yeah, I don't think he's going to make it, I think he's got a long way to improve. With a bit of luck and maybe tutoring you might get him there, but I, I'm not so sure. And so second up we have Callum Gribben, who can play pretty much anywhere across the midfield but his main position is a advanced playmaker in attacking mid. He looks like a quality player. He looks better. He's a free kick specialist. He's got high determination. His work rate is a, definitely an issue, as is strength and stamina. Remember, he's only 16, so physicals will go up, but to start off that low, he's never going to be, you know, Akin Fenwa. Um, his technique's good. He's got passing. He's got all the... I think he could be a decent player. Whether he hits... You know, Man United levels of goodness, so to speak. I, I'm not so sure, but I think he could become a quality player. And lastly, we'll look at Ilias Mutha Septui. Okay, he's Belgium. Everybody loves a Belgian. 16 years old goalkeeper. Interesting, you don't see many of these young goalkeeper. Media description is a promising, promising goalkeeper. Um, good mentors. Great pace for a for a goalkeeper, um, so that will help him, especially with his one on ones, which could be um, improved. Um, poor command of area, uh, and his rushing out is low, but other than that, all round decent. Determination work rate is ten and ten. He'll be all right. I don't think he'll make the grade. Quick look into the under twenty ones. So we all know, I'm not going to go too into detail about guys like this. We all know he's a top talent. He's quality, 20 years old, out on loan for the season. Yeah, can play all the way across the top, even up front if you need him. Absolutely quality player, described as a wonder kid. We all know he's going to be great. So he, when he comes back, he'll be in, in and or around your first team. Next up is Marcus Rashford, 17 years old. Attacking mid, okay. He's never, he's not gonna make it, I don't think. Okay, Vanya Milankovic Savic. That's easy. 
uh, 18 year old Serbian goalkeeper okay decent all round goalkeeper yeah might might be okay don't think he's going to be sort of first team um, and that's it sort of slightly disappointingly uh, have a like a look at the like of Tyler Beckett who's 21 year old defender play centre or left decent I'd probably play him central um, you can't really have him in his attacking fullback he's got no crossing whatsoever um, his passing's okay he's okay I think he could do a job for you especially if you need some homegrown players um, obviously he's out on loan but when he comes back um, Will Keane I think is a quality player the, the scouts don't really rate him um, but he's got great determination good work rate natural fitness is really poor he's 22 so he's not too young he's older than I thought but he could do a job as a backup homegrown player I think maybe loan him out for a season or two or just sort of cash in on him I don't know how much how much is he worth million with only a two year contract um, I was just looking at Dimitri Mitchell I was like I recognise him hang on and it's because I have him in my Motherford Town save the creator club career that I'm running alongside this um, yeah, in League One so I don't think he makes it <laughs> he turns out to be alright four years in the future so that's about it we'll jump straight into the main squad now so David De Gea is David De Gea he's really good one of the best goalkeepers in the world top three for most people I think Martial quality youngster um, could be your first choice striker for next 10 years um, unlike real life he's really good in football manager I don't know what's happened to him I thought he was a quality buy for Man United but yeah absolute quality player prefers to play on the attacking uh, left wing he's best as an inside forward because he likes to get in and get goals so you could build a formation with that in mind um, Luke Shaw when he's not injured he's an absolute quality left back he's still only 19 bags of talent all good all rounder James Wilson striker really good youngster nice to have a good British player determination is only four which is I think will stop him reaching the sort of heights of the game uh, but still a really good really good striker might want to loan him out first season maybe uh, then we've got one matter absolute quality his physicals aren't the best but the rest of it is just amazing he off quite often wins um, player of the year and world golden balls and all that jazz Wayne Rooney is is Wayne Rooney I think you've probably heard of him we won't go too much into him 29 now so you you know next couple of years you'll be needing to look in I know quite a few people that have done a Man United save and have actually sold him while he's still worth 30 odd million um, so that could be a, a thing worth looking into Herrera I really like this guy in real life and he's actually really good in this game as well I'm looking at these a lot of these players for the first time as well so but yeah he looks like a quality player 25 years old yeah good all-rounder Phil Jones Mr Versatile absolute quality still in this game probably a little bit overrated um, he's a great player to have he's homegrown you can play center back he can play right back he can play defensive midfield he can play center midfield you probably play him up front as a target man if you were so inclined uh, great player definitely keep him around oh he's got a, he's suffering from a blood clot he's out for two months that's that's nice isn't it Morgan Schneidling a new signing at Man United decent player um, 25 years old best as a sort of ball winning midfielder sort of disrupt <coughs> the opposition great stats all round really not too much to be said there definitely keep him Bastian Schweinsteiger obviously world class player plays the likes playing as a deep line playmaker he's on a crap ton of money 240 grand a week 
and it's a three-year deal so in three years I'm not sure if he'll be in your first team plans um, which could be an issue so <clears throat> it's hard because in, in, in three if you decide to sell him say in two and a half years he's going to have deteriorated a bit and he's going to <clears throat> it's going to be less likely other teams are going to want him especially when he's obviously going to be demanding a massive wage so I personally because you have the likes of Jones, you've got the likes of Schneiderling, Herrera, I would personally, you can't sell him straight away, but I would sell him in the January transfer window, to be honest, um, just because he's a decent, he's a good player, don't get me wrong, he, he's first choice if you wanted to play, but I'm just thinking in the next couple of years in mind, you might struggle to move him on and with a three-year contract, it's going to be tricky. Right. Victor Valdez, obviously sort of backup goalkeeper, 33 years old. Bags of experience, decent backup. Probably could be first choice for a season or two if you were to cash in on De Gea. Michael Carrick. He's okay. He's got some great mentals and technicals. His physicals have really let him down. And he's 33, so he's not going to get any better. It's up to you whether he gets a season or maybe it's time to move him on. I think I might move him on because, as I said, you've got Schneidling. If you keep Schweinsteiger, you've got him. You've got Herrera that can play centre mid. So, Andreas Pereira, a youngster, Brazilian, can play anywhere in the midfield pretty much. He's okay. He's got some sort of good stats and he's really weak in areas. No strength. Okay pace. Balances issue, um, decision making and composure aren't fantastic. Lots of flair, no teamwork, rubbish determination. Eh, I'd probably loan him out for a season or have him as like a backup option and then come the end of the season, decide if you want to cash in on it, him or not. Daily Blind. Mr. Versatile in the Man United side. Pretty much plays anywhere but striker or wingers. Um, best role is down the spine of the team. He can, uh, left back as well. He, yeah, he just plays fucking everywhere. He just he just loves it. <laughs> um, so, always nice to have a few players in your team like this that can just play anywhere. So, I think that's... That's fantastic. He's got some great mental stats. Uh, 25 years old. He's not going to get much better. His heading's an issue, um, is the only thing I would say. Oh, sorry. Um, if you're playing him at centre-back, that is something you're going to have to work with him on. He's not tall, is he? Yeah, he's 5'11". Um, so I personally wouldn't play him at centre-back, therefore I would play him at left-back, which we've got Luke Shaw, or defensive midfield, and that kind of just says even more so that maybe it's time to move on Michael Carrick if... if Blin can play defensive meal, Schneiderling, Schweinsteiger, Jones can all play there. So we've got Michael Smalling. Um, yeah, I really love Darren Smalling. He's got a great set of stats. He's been upgraded definitely this year. He's playing well in real life. He's not going to get a million times better. Um, but he's a quality defender. He'll do you for a good couple of years. Good few years. Mateo Damien, he's the fullback. Can play both sides equally well, which is very nice. Um, 25 years old, so he's getting to his peak. Just sort of a good all-rounder, really. He's nothing spectacular at any one thing. Um, but a great player to have just because he can play both sides as well. Ashley Young. I hate this guy in real life. He's okay in the game. I'd personally move him on, but that could be just for you, um, from pure hatred of him. <laughs> so make of that what you will. Paddy McNair, youngster. Um, bright future in real life. He can play centre-back as his main role, but he can play defensive midfield or centre mid. Decent all-rounder, really. Low determination again, you see. That's, a, that's, that's an issue for me. He's not the bravest, which you need as a centre-back. Yeah, he's missing a couple of sort of key stats, stats to make him really good for me. He might be worth keeping on as a homegrown rotational player, backup, cup game player. But I don't think he'll really make it. 
Oh, where were we? Jesse Lingard, the goal scorer from the other night. <clears throat> 22 years old now, so he's been on loan all over the place. And he's a decent player. I definitely keep him as a backup. Um, again, I'm not sure if he's never going to be your sort of first choice main man, but a decent squad player. Marcus Rojo, the 25 year old Argentinian centre back. Quality player. Yeah, really solid. I like um, this here, which is really good for a centre back. Ag aggression, anticipation, and bravery. He's just going to get stuck in. Doesn't care about all that rubbish. Good work rate, good teamwork. Yeah, he's a good player. I, I do like him. I think he's slightly underrated to two and a half star potential in this team. Antonio Valencia. I don't know what you want to make of this guy. Um, been around for years now. 29 years old. He's, phys he's a good athlete. It's kind of all I've got, really. He's a really good athlete. And he's determined. Yeah, I, I, the fact he's worth 15 million and he's 29, I'd sell in a hobby, to be honest. And finally, the big head wonder, Marwan Flaney. Another player I dislike. Um, I'm a Liverpool fan, so I hate him for being at Man United. I hate him for being at Everton. He's, yeah. But he's actually half decent in this. Like, uh, you've got another player. I would be tempted to retrain him or get him better at defensive midfield if, if you were playing that. Because... You either play him as defensive midfield. I, I think you go two extremes. You either play him at defensive midfield and train him to be better defensively and all that stuff, or you push him further up, and not as a striker, but as an attacking midfielder, somebody that's going to be sort of a target man type thing, knocking balls down. I don't think he's good enough to just be a centre midfielder, spraying balls around. But he's 27 years old. He's at the peak of his powers. He's decent. That's all I've got to say, really. So let's just sort them by position. So we've got a great goalkeeper and a backup. That's fine. So right back we have Darmian who can play right and left back. Um, Antonio Valencia. Um, so right back would probably be, I would be looking to to fix. Um, left back we've got Luke Shaw and Daly Blind. Both can play there. Both really good players. I don't worry too much about that. Centre back you have Chris Smalling and Rojo. You have then... The, your next up is sort of Phil Jones, and Darwin can play there. Okay, he's decent. He's actually got decent. He's got headings good. He's okay at centre back. I think defence as a whole is definitely an area that needs to be strengthened, apart from maybe left back. So defensive midfield we've already covered. We, we're sorted there. Central midfield. I think Bastian Schweinsteig is a better central midfielder. Um, so is Schneidling. I'd probably play him more likely to be central midfielder because he's got a good range of passing. Um, and we have Fellaini, Herrera, Ling, all can play centre midfield. So that's not too bad. Um, if you were looking to maybe sell Carrick, then maybe you need one more. Um, next up, we've got the wingers. So basically, our winger options are we've got Valencia on the right wing, Ashley Young on both, Pereira on both, Lingard on both, Manmata on both. Um, I think you're quite covered on the wings, really. I think... Um, more than anything, you're probably going to play DP left wing. And up to you where you go on right wing. It could be an option to improve. I think one matters better as a central. So if you're playing DP left wing, matter central, your right wing is either Jesse Lingard, Pereira, Ashley Young... Or Valencia so I think that's definitely an area that could be worked on um, and then up front you've got some great options you've got Wayne Rooney obviously quality player Martial and your youngster is Wilson but also Depe can play up there quite comfortably it's, it's just a just as much of a favorite position um, I'd like to see him um, as a left winger though with the inside forward option on I think that's where he plays best but that's about it. I think I, we've covered. Let's just one one last thing. Actually, we need to cover. If I can remember where it is. 
So these are your expectations just for the first season. So they are expecting that in the Premiership you get <coughs> top four. Which I think with the squad is definitely doable. I don't think it's too much hassle. The FA Cup is the semi-final. That's always tricky because it's the FA Cup and anything can happen. League Cup, I'm sure they don't care about. Yeah, they don't care about League Cup. And Champions League, quarterfinals. So I think the league is definitely doable. Top four with that team and the money of 60 million you've got to spend. Yeah, pretty easy, I'd say. Um, and then you've just got to worry about the Champions League and the FA Cup is the big is the tricky ones. I don't think you're quite strong enough to win the league without ch big changes. I think you're going to struggle against the likes of Chelsea and Man City. Um, but other than that, I think you're good to go. I think you've got a relatively good first season just winning Champions League. I think you're good to go. So that is it for our club and squad review. Hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments. Suggest the next team to do and I'll get straight on it. <coughs> I'm going to be doing tons of, like, lots of videos. I'm, I'm uploading sort of five, six videos a day at the moment, on, all on Football Manager. So please subscribe and like and comment and uh, that's great. I will speak to you soon, guys. Thank you for joining me.